I've got a message to say that um, Tommy's been arrested in Mexico. So, I mean, so basically, Tommy has um, struggled really hard recently because he can't, he can't rent a house, he can't have a bank account, he, um, he can't live a normal family life, he can't have his kids, he can't, he can't know where to live. Um, so, some hol uh, kids' holidays, which is, um, which is uh, half-term or Easter holidays, um, he wanted to take his kids away, give them a week with him, um, so he decided to go to Mexico. And uh, he's been to Mexico three times, never had a problem, never caused a problem there. And um, I've woke up, woke up, I've come in to find out that he's been arrested and he's gonna be deported um, from uh, Cancun airport. Um, his kids, so it's just him and his kids uh, and his mate. And um, his kids are absolutely distressed. You can imagine you've flown 10 hours with your children um, to go on holiday, the excitement of being with the kids. Um, you know, it's the first time Tommy's been able to spend some time with his kids properly. Obviously, where he's been bankrupt, court cases, you know, he's not been able to really chill out and spend any really decent time with his kids, obviously with the rape of Britain and everything that's going on. So, this was his opportunity to spend time with his kids. And the British government have put a marker on him. Um, landed at Cancun Airport separated from his children. They're absolutely distraught. They're now with his friend. You know, for a guy that, that does what he does, there's no, there's, it's just, this is what they do. They grind, they're grinding him down. They're grinding him down as much as they can. And now they've separated them from his children in, in another country, you know, halfway across the world. Um, He's been arrested for, for, for um, so they, they've said to him that it's regarding national security, so they don't want him in the country. He's been to been to Mexico loads of times, so uh, I just feel so much, I'm so bad for his kids. I mean, you've got to understand they've, um, this is his first opportunity to spend time with his children in a long, long time. And for them to do this, it must be so hard on the kids. So hard on the kids, but this is this comes from the very top. It has to. This is you know they're saying for, for safety of national security in Mexico. So Tommy's currently in a detention centre. They've given him his phone. Um, he's managed to get a couple of videos out, contact, and make contact. And I wanted to let let you all know. So Tommy will be back, deported back to England, and potentially be arrested at the airport when he lands. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen or if not. But yeah, I just wanted to update you all. So, Tommy was in, uh, spend time with his kids, been, been separated from his kids in Mexico, and will be deported back to the UK and potentially um, arrested. But I will keep you all up to date with what's going on um, over yeah, tomorrow or today. National security, it's, 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 just, it's just a grind him, grind him down, the rape of Britain. You understand this guy is, 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 is going places that no journalist, no media outlet would dare go. And when you start opening up, you know, when you start sh corrupt police officers, corrupt councils, groomers, you know, you, you, you're going against the big boys. They don't want this information coming out. They want to grind him down as much as fix it as physically possible. Um, but this is about his kids. This is about the fact that uh, uh, Tommy's gone on holiday with his kids and his poor kids are now separated in Mexico for nothing, for no reason, just for national security. Tommy's been to Mexico loads of times. So just another episode of the British government using, using a tactic to grind Tommy down and to mentally um, annihilate him. The effect, he's, he's very emotional uh, being separated from his kids. Um, so yeah.
say a prayer for Tommy. But I'll keep you updated when I'm going to bed. Episode 2, The Rape of Britain, 7th of May, in Telford. Make sure you're there. You know, this guy is, um, has got so much information that no journalist or news outlet would ever touch. Um, and we're going to throw it out on a big screen on the 7th of May. I just hope that he's there. I hope that he doesn't get remanded when he gets back to the UK. Insanity. That's exactly what this is. Yeah. Poor geezer. Poor kids. Poor kids. They've been on a ten and a half hour flight. So excited to be there with their dad again. After, you know, all the madness. And now he's been, you know, dragged away from them. They're in a, you know, halfway around the world without their dad. Well done, British government. Well done.